theory of heliocentricity has been with us for quite some time now, but what exactly is it? The word heliocentricity can be split up into two short words, helios, Greek for sun, and center. Literally meaning the sun is in the center, the theory of heliocentricity dictates that everything in the universe revolves around the sun. This theory evolved from the theory of geocentricity, which states that the earth is at the center. Oh, and one more thing, they're both wrong. Neither the Earth nor the Sun are at the center of the universe, but it is at least safe to say that our solar system is heliocentric. But how do we know that? Do you believe that our solar system is heliocentric? Yes. How do you know? Because that's what I was taught since the beginning. Do you believe that the solar system is heliocentric? Yes. No. Why? If the Earth moves around the Sun, why do we not feel it? Fair enough. And you? Why yes? Well, the Sun has a much stronger gravitational force, so it's only fair that all the other planets revolve around it. Well, not quite right. Firstly, the solar system is heliocentric, so you and you were right. But I don't blame you for saying no, because that is a good question. We don't feel the Earth moving because we are moving at the same speed as the Earth, and we don't get shredded by solar winds because space is vacuum. Secondly, you can't say, because we were taught so, because that doesn't explain anything. And lastly, you were kind of right, because that is mostly why we rotate around the sun. But no one here actually said why or how we do that. It's actually because of the parallax effect. Parallax is the way an object's position or direction seems to change depending on the viewing angle. To experience this phenomenon, simply cover one eye and focus on an object then move the cover to the other eye. Because each eye provides a different viewing angle, the object will appear to move. In astronomy, this is called stellar parallax, the difference in direction of a stellar object as seen by an observer from two widely separated points. As seen in this animation, the position of the stars appears to move. This is because the Earth is moving and we are looking at the stars from a different perspective. Therefore, if we observe the stars moving in this fashion, we know that the Earth must be moving too, proving the fact that the Earth indeed rotates around the Sun instead of the Sun moving around the Earth. Oh really? I never knew that! Wow, I see! Interesting!